Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. Thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to today and to visit with me for a little while. And what I'm up to today is uh, episode five in my transitioning back to my cozy country decor series. And today I'm gonna to be working on the Ivy table setup which has the Thomas Kincaid picture hanging above it. And I just am going to make one centerpiece for that and a funky bow because I'm going to hang a funky bow on, you'll see where. <laughs> and then I'm going to be working on the top of the desk and finishing that off. And that will be what this video is about today. Let me take a minute to thank you guys so, so much for all of your sweet and positive feedback. I so appreciate it, you guys. Oh my gosh, you will never believe how much I appreciate it. I know that my decorating might be a little bit different from some that you see, and I appreciate you supporting me and letting me be myself and decorate the way I like to decorate. And I am so touched when I hear you guys say that I've inspired some of you guys. I so appreciate it. I have been decorating this way for quite a long time and of course tweaking the decor as I, you know, get older and as I, you know, can buy an extra thing here or there, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I, when I was younger, I couldn't afford to decorate. I mean, it costs money to go out and buy this stuff, you know? So, and that's one of the reasons, by the way, I uh, had a lady say to me that my florals do not look wintry. I know they don't because I'm not going to go out and spend a ton of money to buy wintry looking flowers. I'm just not going to do it. When I love my Gerber daisies, I love the zinnias, I love all of the flowers and everything that I'm working with now. They will also hold up very nicely through the rest of the winter and the spring. Anyway, I was going to go into a whole diatribe about positivity again, but people who leave me negative stuff, I'm not even going to go there, you know? I so appreciate all of your positivity because I try to be positive all the time and you very rarely, like I've said before, will hear a negative anything come out of me. So I really appreciate the positivity coming back to me so, 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 so much. I really can't stay, stand negativity. I really don't care for it at all in any way. And, you know, if I see something I don't like on somebody else's channel, I'm not going to take the, you know, I'm not going to take the step to make a comment on somebody else's stuff that to say I don't like it. I'm going to scroll on by and I'm going to keep going because I would never want to hurt somebody's feelings like that. You know, if I don't like it, that's my opinion. I'll keep my opinion to myself. So, positivity it is here on my channel, and that's it. No negativity, none. Maybe sadness every now and again, because we all have sad things happen in our lives, but not negativity. Negativity does nothing but breed negativity, and it brings people down, and it makes them feel yucky for a long time. With all that said, I'm going to turn my camera, or my phone, that is working well. It really was a cable charging problem. <laughs> I'm going to turn it and I'm going to point it down and we're going to get to make it a funky bow and a centerpiece for the ivy table. All right. All right. I'll be right back in just a few minutes. Okie dokie. I'm back. And like I said, I'm going to start out by making a funky bow. And for those of you who don't know, I was not the inventor of the funky bow. Uh, a lady over there at Southern Charms Reef named, Ju named Julie, she was, well, she is where I learned it from. I don't know whether she, you know, came up with the idea or not, but she is who I learned it from. So I want to give her a shout out. I'm going to use these three ribbons. I used these three for that little uh, lantern centerpiece over on the hearth, only this was more narrow. So I'm going to go ahead. I want a big bolder bow this time. So I'm going to make... Uh, nine 
loop bow. So I need to cut three lengths. Make this straight here. Three lengths of 26. I'm not going to do the 30. I'm going to do 26 inches. Uh, you know what? I have more in the garage. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. I had another roll of this. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with my staircase decor, uh, uh, this is the ribbon that I use to make all of my staircase bows. And to some of you, it may look wintry or whatever because it has berries, but I don't think it looks wintry at all. I think of them as pip berries. So I use pip berries throughout the year. So anyway, I'm going to have three lengths of each type of ribbon at 26 inches long. Give this a straight edge here. Because I'm going to have eight inch tails and a five inch loop. So, here we go. 26. Chris is coming in and out of the house. That's what you hear. It's that little bloop, 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 bloop. He is taking down the Christmas wreaths. You folks who live north of me, bless your hearts. It looks like north and even east of me. It looks like you guys are going to get whacked with this snow, huh? Bless your hearts. I'm so sorry. We are uh, predicted to get a little bit of snow, but I don't think as much as you guys are getting. But the temperatures are going to drop again. It's actually over freezing, one degree over freezing right now. First time we've seen over freezing in, she was, I don't even know, days and days and days. It's been so cold here. So, but that's what he's doing. He's coming in and out and doing, taking those wreaths down for me, or for him. I didn't ask him to do that. He just took that upon himself, bless his heart. I appreciate it, though, so much. And then I'm going to incorporate my, my, uh, this plaid that I love so much and use everywhere all of the time. Oops. I think my, my cutter is getting dull. Goodness knows, probably is. This thing is ancient. This thing is probably, I don't know, 20 some years old, probably. And I didn't use it for a while, and I just started using it when I started making these funky bows again, so. All right, now I'm gonna do my dovetails. I'll let you back in, Grace. You have a good time in the backyard? Miss Happy-Go-Lucky. Miss Happy-Go-Lucky, you are. You're such a happy girl. Yes, you are. You're such a happy girl. What you doing? I don't have any food. No, I don't. I don't have any food. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Sally? What you doing? What you doing? All right, sit. Sit. Wait.
so good. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> She's a piece of work, isn't she? She's so sweet. Okay, back to my bow. Sorry. Okay, I've got everything done. All right. Then we line up the ribbon in the way in which we want to put them together. Like that. There we go. Okay, now we are literally going to fold this in half. And we're going to make sure that we have a five inch loop. So measure that and make sure that you have a five inch loop. Pinch it together and then go underneath. And I hold this out of my way with my pinky and twist this around. This looks like it is one two sided ribbon, but it's not. It's really one sided. This looks just a little different. So twist it to bring the right side up. Now with an odd numbered bow loops, an odd number of bow loops. I always turn the next loop the opposite direction. Make sure that I have a five inch loop. Here we go. Pinch it together. Somebody asked me the other day, do I pile my ribbons up or do I put them side by side? To be honest with you, I put them however way they go. <laughs> sometimes they end up beside one another. Sometimes they end up on top of one another. It doesn't matter in the finished product. However, you can pinch them together and pull them together. That's the way you should do it. Again, fold it in half. Five inch loop. Pinch. And here you can really see that this is one-sided ribbon and we need to twist that back one forward. See that? So there's three loops. We're going for nine. So here we go. Next one. Maybe he saw a different forecast or something. Maybe we are going to get some snow here. I don't know. I haven't seen anything five-inch loop. I've been busy. Twist. Five inch loop. Opposite direction. And yeah, even if it is two sided ribbon, kind of this is, I do twist that underneath one. I guess it's just a habit, excuse me. This direction, five inch loop. I do pull my uh, loops up and kind of forward. I don't know why I do that. It just kind of makes it easier to find them in the end. They get buried sometimes. All right, the last three. You don't have to fold it exactly in half, you guys. Just another way to do this. I, I think I should tell you this too. I'm having eight inch tails on this bow and a five inch loop. So the way we work that out is, and folding it in half is not telling you this information. So I wanted to pause here before I'm finished the, the bow. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you this from the beginning. But if you go, because I want eight inch tails, I needed to figure it out and I'm not the best at math. <laughs> but you go to eight and then you go to 18. And that gives you an eight inch tail on this end and an eight inch tail on this end. And it gives you 10 inches from eight to 18 to pull together to make that five inch loop. So that's the way you figure out how you how long you want your loops to be or you want your uh, 
tails to be. Sometimes you don't need really long tails. Like the little bow that I made the other day, and then we had, uh, what did I make that? Six inch tails, I believe on that one. I can't remember right now. But again, let me do that for you again. Lay it out, 26 inches, go to eight, 18, pull it together, and that gives you a five inch loop. And that's how you figure out when you're, you know, figuring out how big you want your bow to be or how long you want your tails to be. That's how you figure out how you do it. You want your two tails, you add those together and then add 10 for a five inch loop. And I suggest, that I always say that you make a five inch loop. Now that's what I did different on that bow out there. I made a four and a half inch loop, I think, on those. But anyway, so there we go. I'm holding it together. You take a pipe cleaner and go to about the center point of your pipe cleaner, put it kind of under your thumb and wrap it around. And grab it from behind and use the hand that you are holding the bow with as resistance and pull and twist. And there we have a funky bow, the start of a funky bow anyway. And to finish it off, just take some time and fluff up your loops. That is the most important part of any bow that you make is to take time to fluff up your loops. Your bow is gonna look 50 times better if you take the time out to do that. And you know what? I don't know that I'm going to need to do anything with these tails. I think I'm liking them. One other thing I want to do is I want to take, I'm trying to think which ribbon I want to use, probably this one, my plaid, and I'm going to cut two lengths of it and I'm going to tie it right into the back of this so that I have two long tails. Let me do I'm going to do 45 inches. Nah, 40 inches will be plenty. And you just find the middle. Gracie was performing for the folks, huh? Yeah. She said, I need a treat after she came back in. She thought she needed a treat. If you want, yeah. That's, yeah, that's fine if you want. I'm not going to redecorate it today. Probably don't have time. I do have that one. Uh, I can give you the mailbox cover if you want to put that on it that I'm going to use. And there we go. And then I need to make a loop, and I'll cut these tails once I get it on where I want to put it. And I need to make a little loop out of my pipe cleaner because I'm actually going to hang this. Let me show you. I'm actually going to hang this. Here's my Serenity player, uh, prayer plate. I'm going to hang this right off of this plate and, the, and these are going to hang down. And so I need just a little loop big enough so that I can get it on the plate hanger. Since it's going to sit there, why not just tweak it here, huh? Probably won't cut these until I get it hung up. And we won't see the full effect until we get it up on the shelf, but that's, you know, what I'm going for. 
And like I say, I'll cut the inside shorter than the outside. Why don't I go ahead and cut them, huh? I don't cut these in a dovetail. I cut them kind of at an angle. Like that. And then I usually cut the shorter one a little bit about there. The inside one, the one that's going to go toward the center of the decor. This will be on the left-hand side of the shelf. So I want this one a little shorter. So there we go. Okay, and then I already have stuff up on that shelf, so I'll show you that after we're done with our other crafts here at the counter. So, all right, I'll be right back, actually. I'm gonna move this. And we're gonna pull this right over. And we're gonna work on a centerpiece for the table that's gonna sit below this. And the Thomas Kincaid picture is above the shelf. All right. I need to clean these stars. My goodness gracious, they're dusty as can be. These stars. Kristen told me, our daughter, Kristen, got me a willow tree figurine one year, and she said these stars were a free gift with her purchase. I was like, well, my goodness. She said, you really going to use this one? I said, are you kidding me? School the less yellow? Sun going to set tonight? Of course I'm going to use these. You gave them to me. I'm going to use them. So always incorporated them into this centerpiece and you can see how decrepit oh I forgot about that we have a humidifier on I mean thank you honey have a humidifier on behind us I'm so sorry if you guys have been hearing that rumbling in the background I forgot to turn it off it has so been so dry around here that he brought that upstairs because our skin is just ugh, it's awful so he set that up on the kitchen counter behind you there to try to put some moisture in the air here uh, but anyway, I also always use these poor decrepit, these poor candles that I have used for years and years and years, and they look beat up and just pitiful, but you know what? It's okay. I don't care because I like them, and I like that they have stars on them. All right, let's see. This is what I had in this. centerpiece in August before I took it apart for fall. I made these out of a pipberry garland and just snipped however many inches off, I don't even know, and pulled them together and put some, uh, tied them together with floral wire. Berry garland here. And my pit berries, huh? I have no idea where I got this pit berry garland. This is a very old pit berry garland. I would imagine I got this at a country store, probably like that one over in Harrisonburg. I don't think I ordered this offline. And some stars. I have some stars, but I do have. I guess I kind of just had them sitting in there. This sits in front. No, I don't like them. How about if I try to lift them up a little bit in here?
Oh well. That works. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. And I just have some black metal stars. Anchor the front two corners. I think. Okay. And let me go put this over on the ivy table. Next, I'm not going to use those or that. I want to go ahead and put this lantern back together. Oh my goodness. This is how I had it, whoops, wrong way, for Christmas. And I just had a snowman in there and we had just changed these batteries. I think these are going to work okay, these uh, fairy lights. Yep. And if you remember in the fall, I had a, a owl in there, an owl in there. And actually I might've changed it out. When I first made this, this lantern, I had an, a wooden owl. And I pulled him out, I pulled him out in August and I'm gonna keep him out and I'm actually gonna use them in the lantern that Candace gave me, I believe. So I am just going to simply put, down and around. I'm simply going to put a sunflower. Yes, I know it's summertime. I know, but I'm going to use it because that's what I have to use. And I'm not going to go buy a bunch of stuff. I did go buy some stuff to make a, a new bullnose uh, spray for the stair staircase, but that's all. So anyway, I'm just going to put the sunflower right in there like that. And remember, this is going to sit up on top of the desk. So, and then I had made this lantern swag. And I will put a link, I'll put a little eye up there in the right hand corner, and I'll put a link in the description too if you would like to go see how I made this. This was my first. One of my first, I believe. I'll tell you in that video if it was exactly my first lantern swag that I tried. So I left myself something to tie it on this lantern with. And I'm going to tie it right back on this lantern. And put it right back on here. And this is why I make things for, uh, I think, Chris... He just showed me a mailbox cover that he's taken out to the mailbox. I'm not doing that decor today. Anyway, uh, lost my drain of thought. But this is why I make these lantern swags so that I can remove them and so that I can switch decor out for each season. Now this will stay on here. I don't know whether I'll do something uh, for Easter with this, but this will stay on at least until Easter and then if I decide to make one for Easter I'll make another swag for Easter. I very well might for Easter But this will stay on like this until then But It's held together beautifully. You know where I hung this during the fall and Christmas decor I was using that stuff. I hung it out on one of the rungs of my shelves in the garage, and that's where it's been hanging. So, oh, I just love this thing. I think it's so, I was so happy and relieved that I was able to pull something like this together. So, there we go. And that will go right on top of this desk. Now, I went out this morning and I did buy a couple of things, but everything was on sale that I bought and this is decor that is going to stay up throughout the year it's not something that I'm going to you know take down in a month or so this isn't like buying Christmas decor this is decor that is going to stay put so I went to Hobby Lobby and y'all know that sign that I bought the other day if I have a I'm not sure if I have a picture of it I may if I do I'll insert it here if not you'll see it when I uh, 
put this stuff up there. But it has this cream color in it. And this, and Chris has put it up there for me, and he built little legs for it <laughs> because it wasn't sitting up there right. So he built little legs and put, put it, I can't even, he put it up before I even saw what he did, you guys. So I'm going to grab this. Let me see if I can get to it. I'm climbing the ladder here. One thing I forgot to look for is a cream colored picture hanger. So anyway, this is going to sit on the left, then that picture in the middle, and then this. Maybe. I just took it down from up there. There we go. It's going to sit on the right. And normally, in years past, I've had a plate that I've sat up in there. But instead of putting a plate up, I decided I was going to use these two things. So I'm going to go put this together and then you guys will see the end result. And I will show you the ivy table and what I did there and the top of the desk and what I did there. So I will be right back when I get all of this into place. <laughs> be back in a few. Hey everyone, I'm back. And I am now finished putting everything in place that I just made. I uh, put the centerpiece on the ivy table and the serenity prayer plate with the funky bow up on the shelf and I put the stuff up on top of the desk. So I'm fixing to take my phone off of the little uh, selfie stick tripod <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, just take you around and show you those two things and give you a closer look at what I did. And uh, that will be it for this one. Thank you all again for your positivity and your sweet words and everything that you guys give to me each and every day. I hope that what I do gives back to you just a little bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I so appreciate every single one of you. So I'm going to say goodbye here while I'm looking at you, and then I'll say goodbye again behind the camera. But I'll just say until next time, y'all take good Good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, here I am over at the Ivy table. And for those of you who are new subscribers, uh, the reason we call I call this the Ivy table is because back in the 80s, this is an old table, <laughs> uh, back in the 80s, there was Ivy stenciled, Ivy leaves stenciled on the two front panels of this, of those doors there. And before we moved in here, we knew we were going to be getting the black hooker furniture. So Chris painted this black and distressed it a little bit, as you can see. So it used to be this color. Anyway, that's the explanation as to why we call this table the ivy table. <laughs> silly, I know, but we're pretty silly in this house. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, here is that centerpiece that I did really simple quick little centerpiece and I just have my Dickens houses on here I don't have a lot it's very you know uh, compared to the Christmas tree extravaganza that was on here last week it's this is very subdued but then we go up here and there is my brand new Thomas Kincaid picture and the new burgundy, I hope it's telescoping burgundy, uh, batting around that beautiful picture. I wish I could get up high enough for you guys. And then I just tried to pull in some of the colors of the picture. And through there's that funky bow and the serenity prayer plate. And this is a, an arrangement that I made last year that I just literally pulled out of the bin and sat back up on that shelf. I don't know whether I have a video of me making that. I don't think I do. But that's it for the ivy table. I'm thinking I, I think I have a Pipberry ring I can put on here, but I haven't found it yet. I'll tell you what, you guys, I'm going to give a whole house tour after I'm finished all of my redecorating. So I will point out all the new things that I did. 
then. Still haven't got the Pitberry Garland up. We'll do that. But Chris, bless his heart, did get all the outdoor decor down because we're supposed to be getting some really cold, if not some snowy weather. I think most of you guys are going to be getting some snow. A lot of you guys are. And so please, please, please stay safe. Hunker down. Stay safe. Anyway, here is the top of the desk. I am super happy with how this turned out. Just put my lantern swag, funky bow swag back on. There's my new sign that I got from at home. And the new little angel girl I got today with the new candle ring in front of my old, that's an old hen. Uh, basket and that pitberry garland I got from Plow and Hearth before Christmas on a deep deep sale and then I got Stacy's I love you a bushel and a peck down there that's on a timer and hasn't come on yet and uh, that's it you guys I still have the center the corner shelf to do I have the hutch to do I've got this lantern centerpiece to do, which I already have the funky bow swag made for that, but I've got to put it together. Obviously, I need to clean off the table. <laughs> I don't know how, I, I am going to make a new bullnose spray for right here on the staircase, but uh, we'll do that together in another video. Not sure what's next. I might, this might be it for this week, you guys, or it might not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be getting myself into tomorrow. So, anyway, I'm having a hard time saying goodbye to you again. What's new? <laughs> so, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye bye.